Magicians have the ability to think beyond the norm and come up with amazing tricks. And for all the curious people out there, here's a chance to figure out some of the best magic tricks performed across the globe. So, be it the amazing math trick or the real secret behind the famous cigarette trick at the end of this video. Hello and welcome back, and today we're going to unlock some of the greatest magic secrets of all time. So, let's get started. At number 7, Spoon Bending Illusion Illusionists and magicians for quite a while have displayed their power of mind using the spoon bending trick, where the magician holds the spoon in his fingers and slowly bends it. So, how about you trying this trick if provided a spoon? Can you bend it? Nope! Then here's the secret to make it easier for you to try out this trick. The trick here is to have an already bent spoon and a straight, stem-only part of the spoon. The magician holds the already bent spoon in his hand in such a way that the bent part is hidden behind his fingers. And he holds the stem part such that it seems as if he's holding the straight stem of the spoon. Then, gently releasing the grip of the stem, he makes it to fall down, thus making the illusion of a spoon being bent using the magician's amazing power of mind. At number 6, The Burnt Card Trick Richard Jones, the winning contestant magician from Britain's Got Talent, in his final magic act performed the card trick in which he tore the signed card by Amanda, then burnt the pieces of the card to get the original card back. So, how did he actually perform this amazing trick? Well, before revealing the secret, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of our new video uploads. Now, here's the secret. The card on which Richard took the sign of Amanda was actually two cards stuck together from one corner. If you look carefully, he first folded the card in half, then opened it back again and folded it downwards to half. He then tore the card into four pieces, thereby keeping the original card folded at left-hand top corner. Very carefully, he took the torn pieces behind the fingers of his other hand and kept it inside the pocket in his jacket, with the act of getting a lighter. Now he only burnt the extra edges of the piece of card, which remained stuck over the actual card and then blew off the fire. Finally, when he opens it up, we get the actual card signed by Amanda. At number 5, Floating Dollar Bill Now this one's a party trick where you can amaze your friends by levitating a dollar bill right in front of their eyes. In this trick, the magician takes out a dollar bill, folds it along the length, and magically floats it in the air between his hands. And here's the secret to this trick. There's a really thin thread known as magician's thread. It's an invisible thread, and here's how the dollar bill is attached to that thread. Also, a magician's wax is attached to both ends of the thread, and that wax can be stuck to almost anything on the fly. In this case, the wax is applied on the magician's hand directly, or using a transparent tape. Also, the fact that the thread actually goes through the center means that you can wave your hands above and below that floating bill, making this act look quite convincing. At number 4, Card from Deck Levitation It's almost impossible to know what the other person is thinking or watching, but not that hard for a magician. In this trick, the magician tells to choose any card at random from the deck, and then places it back into the deck. He then places that deck of cards in a glass, and doing some magical gestures, the card has popped out. And here's how the trick is done. The card, which is chosen at random, was actually placed back into the deck where the magician wanted it to be. He then places the remaining cards back over the deck, which is supported by a special card at the end. That special card is supported by a counterweight mechanism that moves a small pad upward when the card is turned upside down. The pad also has a small dot of wax that sticks to the card and the card moves upwards, 
making it pop out of the deck. At number 3, the magic calculator trick. In one of the episodes of The Steve Show, this magician stunned everyone present there with his show-stopping magic trick. And here's what he did. He started by asking the audience to pull out a dollar bill from their pocket, which he had already given them before the show. He then asks Steve to pick up any random person from the audience. He borrows her dollar bill, puts it inside an envelope, and places the envelope inside a glass. Then he borrows a phone from Steve, unlocks it, and opens a phone calculator to start performing the trick. First, he tells Steve to give him the number of digits to enter. Steve picks a 9-digit number. The magician then enters any random 9-digit number and keeps the multiplication button on. He then tells Steve to choose any random person from the audience. Steve then picks a lady from the audience to guess any 4-digit number. She chooses 1988, which the magician multiplies with that 9-digit number. Steve then chooses another lady from the audience to input the next number. She picks her favorite number, 88, which the magician then multiplies with the previous output. When Steve's happy with the size of the number, he reads out the final end result. 572,124,012,125. Now the trick becomes even more interesting when the magician tells Steve to read out what's written on this card, which read, second row. He tells everyone that prior to the show, he had already kept a piece of paper underneath the chairs of everyone sitting in the second row. He then tells everyone in that row to pull up those papers. And to everyone's shock, the numbers that were revealed exactly matched the final result on the calculator. But wait, the magician had saved the best for last. He then asks Steve to open that dollar bill, and the unique serial number present on it also matched the calculator result. It didn't end here. On the final part of the trick, he tells the second row audience to turn over all the papers, which amazingly revealed the host's name, Steve Harvey. So, how did he do it? Did he actually predict what number every member of the audience was going to guess? Just not possible, don't you think? So, let's look at the secret behind this trick. Here, all the magical stuff lies in that iPhone which the magician took from Steve or, for that matter, from anyone else. Yes, the calculator on Steve's phone was hacked, and it didn't behave like any normal calculator. After Steve handed over his phone to the magician, he quickly typed some stuff on it which he concealed from the camera and everyone present there. This is what he typed on the calculator which formed the main part of this trick. The number he wanted, followed by the addition sign, followed by zero, followed by multiplication sign, followed by open parentheses. This resets the calculator to on, and everyone believed that it's just like any other calculator at its on position. So, no matter what kind of calculation they performed on it, the calculator would always return the same result that the magician wants. In this case, it was 572,124,012,125. So, it didn't matter how big a number Steve chose at first, or what number the ladies guessed. When every number chosen was multiplied, the result was always the number the magician wanted. That's because he had programmed the calculator this way, using the magic formula. And all the number guessing was just misdirection. So now you have the answer. The magician already knew the number and had everything planned as per what he wanted to show on TV, i.e. the name Steve Harvey. So guys, take out your iPhones and apply this magic formula to surprise your friends. At number 2, Water Suspension Trick What would you do if someone holds a glass filled with water, covers it with a card, turns the glass upside down, and then holds it over your head? Now, you need not run, because the water will not spill out. Cool, right? The trick is a classic science experiment performed by magicians all over the world, and this is what the secret is. When the magician holds the glass upside down, the magic of science plays its role. That is, the suction created at the top of the glass holds the cardboard in its place, as the air inside the glass cannot escape. Now, the trick becomes even more interesting when the magician removes the cardboard, and guess what? The water still doesn't spill out. 
For this part, the magician uses a plastic lid which is hidden behind the cardboard. And that lid fits exactly over the mouth of the glass. Now, you must have noticed that it was not the cardboard but the clear plastic lid which was held in place by the suction. That's because the vacuum created inside the glass is strong enough to hold up water and the plastic lid together. Now, to break the suction and spill out the water whenever the magician wants, this is how he tricks us. There is a small hole drilled at the bottom of the glass, which he had covered with his finger for most part of the trick. Now, you must have guessed it as to how the magician makes the water spill out. Yes, he slowly removes his finger from the small hole, which breaks the suction inside the glass and the sudden increase in air pressure pushes the lid and finally, the water spills out. So at last, the number one trick on our list and the one you've been waiting for. Mario Lopez's Cigarette Trick Mario Lopez, the sleight of hand master, makes everything he touches look like real magic. And one of his most famous performances is the cigarette trick. In this trick, he first takes a cigarette out of thin air and shows it to the audience. He then pushes that cigarette up his nose and all of a sudden the cigarette is seen coming out of his mouth. Then he moves that cigarette in between his nose and mouth several times and shows the same to the audience. Now, shocking everyone around, Mario inserts that whole cigarette up through his nose before taking it out straight from his mouth. Quite amazing, isn't it? But how did he do it? Well, here's the secret. Let's break it down into two parts. The first part, in which Mario inserts the cigarette up his nose, and the second one, where he brings back the cigarette from his mouth. Now, for the first part, the magician uses a cigarette which was cut in two halves, and he inserts only the back half of the cigarette into his nose, while the other half was concealed using sleight of hand. So, this is how he inserts the cigarette up his nose. Now, coming to the final part of the trick, how does that cigarette appear in his mouth? Well, if we rewind back the video, here you can see, just after introducing the cigarette to the audience, he puts his left hand inside his pocket. Yes, you guessed it, during this very moment, he takes out another cigarette from his left pocket and hides it with his left hand. Now with the cigarette hidden behind his hand, he brings his hand up and inserts that whole cigarette inside his mouth. So, the magician now has half the cigarette in his nose, and another one, the whole part, in his mouth. Now when the cigarette is pushed up his nose, at the same moment, he moves forward the other cigarette in his mouth using his tongue. This creates the illusion of a single cigarette moving back and forth between his nose and mouth. And finally, for the part where he pushes the half cigarette straight up his nose, here, using his sleight of hand, he hides that half cigarette in his right hand. And then you know it, here comes the cigarette straight out of his mouth in one whole piece. So guys, hope you got the secrets behind some of the world's greatest magic tricks. What trick did you like the most? The calculator trick or the cigarette trick? And name any other magic trick you would want us to reveal. Do like and share this video with your friends on social media. For more such amazing things, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And finally, thanks for watching.